health class. I know this is going to be a bit different from my conventional videos, but let's face it, everything I make is different from my conventional videos, so health class. If you're like me, you've probably had to take a health class at some point in your life. I had to take it during primary school and middle school. It was mandatory for everybody. And look, let's be real, primary school health class was kinda dumb. Like, what are they gonna teach you in second grade that you don't already know? It's like, which is the healthier choice? The, the apple or the McDonald's? And everyone will respond like, I, I, I think the apple is the healthier choice because it's better for you. And then you'd always have that one kid in the back, you definitely could tell his parents took him out to go get fast food all the time, and he'd just be like, well, actually, McDonald's has apples as well. Shut up, Jimmy, nobody cares. Like, he either played sports or he was an only child. His mom would get him McDonald's all the time. He also got all the Lunchables too, lucky son of a They'd always have the smoking unit too, and it would be the exact same thing every time. Now kids, smoking is very bad for you. But, but my daddy smokes, is he gonna be okay? No! I would always read ahead in the textbook in class, so everyone would be talking about bones or whatever, and I'd just be way off in the back. I'm reading about drugs. My teacher was also pretty weird. I'm gonna call him Mr. Call of Duty because he said he played Call of Duty on the first day of class and he sure acted like a Call of Duty player. <laughs> he yelled at us quite a lot is what I'm trying to say here. We were in like fourth grade or something and we were just goofing off, you know, being dumb, distracting little kids. And I swear, you would think we had uttered the Lord's name in vain. Probably did. You know, kids need to learn some risk. I mean, like, yeah, but you can do that without screaming at us. There's a fourth grade health class, not a Modern Warfare 2 lobby. And of course, there's the most important part of health class. The... sexual education. <laughs> I look so dumb recording this. Sexual education is like the least sexy thing ever made. Now, here's where this all takes a turn. See? I went to a Catholic school. It wasn't a bad time or anything, they weren't teaching anything sus, it was pretty reasonable to be honest. I want to make it clear that I did not hate my time at Catholic school. With that disclaimer out of the way, it was not perfect. One, one aspect of that being, sexual education was not very good. They took the boys in one room to learn about the male puberty, they took the girls to another room to show them about the female puberty, and that's it. We didn't really even learn how sex worked. How to put on a condom? Condoms aren't for squares. What even are they? I sure don't know. No, no, seriously, I, t I, was, I was never educated. I, what, what are but anyway, everyone watches the video. It's pretty old diagrams that I can't show for obvious reasons. We all get to ask questions. It's pretty basic by the book stuff. One of the kids has a question and he's, you know, he's a little nervous to ask it. He just, he feels a little embarrassed saying one of the words in his question. The, th the word was penis, you guys. You know, eventually he says it and now everybody is laughing because it's funny. It's a funny joke. Puberty is funny and terrifying and funny and terrifying, but, but funny. I forgot where I was going with this. And you have to remember, we were in fifth grade, and this is, this is peak, top tier fifth grade comedy. Now, a normal teacher would, you know, laugh along, maybe try and calm everyone down. All right, kids, let's, let's, let's all sit. I get that it's funny, puberty is funny. Let's all just try and settle down now, but nope, not Mr. Call of Duty. Everyone be quiet. This is no laughing matter. Uh, yes it is. I distinctly remember him saying, this is no laughing matter, and I mean, come on. It's peak fifth grade comedy. I guess some people just can't appreciate true comedy. And that is the last I remember of health class. To be fair, I may have repressed some of it without knowing, but eh, it doesn't matter. I turned out fine. Just look at me. I'm under a street lamp, I'm dressed like a cartoon vigilante, and I've abandoned all reason in the name of making game reviews and surrealist art videos. I have completely lost it.
content. It's super bad, but you love it. And you'll like it and subscribe it and send it to your friends, but only the ones you know will like this. If you send this to your acquaintances, they'll just stop talking to you. Because this is weird. Every, everything about this is weird. The quality I filmed the video in is weird. The whole thing is just surreal.